I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to this special video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm so happy to be with you once again on this special day. It is a wonderful day. It is the day that the Lord has given us. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad in it. My dear friend, today we're going to be doing special personalized confessions from Psalm 121. And if you're new to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe, click that bell icon, and you will be up to date with all that we release. But in saying that, we're going to begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit, and then I'll speak to you for a moment, and then we'll begin. So in saying that, lift up your hands and just wherever you are, welcome the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, I welcome you to come and take over control. Come and touch me. Come and bless me. Come and reveal great things from this psalm to me and boost my faith. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, as we start, I want to encourage you. It is so important that we have the right confession. The confession that comes out of our mouth matters. What we say and what we proclaim into the atmosphere around us in faith matters, which is why proclaiming the psalms over our lives can help a whole lot. And this is why we started this, where we personalize the Psalms and declare them over our lives. I tell you, my dear friend, as we do this, God is going to bless you. You might not see the immediate benefit of it, but spiritually, it releases power. Spiritually, it releases defenses so that God can fight for you, so that God can deliver you. And it also gives God's angels who are fighting for you more strength in that battle. When the word goes out, it goes out on a mission and it does not come back and it does not return until it has accomplished its mission. So keep that in mind even as we begin. So let us begin by thanking and praising God and as we discern his presence, then we'll begin to confess this psalm in a personalized manner. So wherever you are, let us begin. Father, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for another day. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love that's released upon us today in abundance. Thank you for your mercy that is everlasting. Thank you, Lord, that you never leave us helpless and that you're such a good God. You're such a gracious God. You're such a merciful God. Thank you, Lord, that even today you're fighting for me. You're delivering me and you are seeing me through. By your grace and by your mercy, I will make it. And I know this. I know this from your word. I know this from what your word says, from the promises in your word. I give you praise and thank you for the full and finished work of the cross, for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who gave his life without any reservation. I thank you and I give you praise. You are good, you are gracious, you are merciful. And it is your mercy and your grace that preserves us. And we know this. We recognize this, and for that we give you praise. We give you praise and we thank you even today. It is another day, and no matter what we may be going through, in whatever season we may face, we will give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. Now once again, I want to encourage you as we confess this, believe it, and believe that the words are being established and God is going to protect you, God is going to surround you, and God is going to bless you and he'll help you to go to a greater glory. As we begin, my dear friend, I want to encourage you, comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much part agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, as we confess this psalm in a personalized manner, do what only you can do. Do miracles, signs, and wonders. Bless my dear friend who's watching this video and touch my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend might be, bless my dear friend and take my dear friend to a greater glory because our help comes from you. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Now in saying that, let us begin, my dear friend. So I'll read a verse and then I'll give you time to follow me. Psalm 121 verse 1. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? Verse 2. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Declare that and mean it. Verse 3. He will not let my foot be moved. He who keeps me will not slumber. Declare that over your life. Know that he will not slumber. He will not leave you alone. He will not leave you helpless, but he will fight for you. Verse 4. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Hallelujah. He will neither slumber nor sleep. He never sleeps. He never slumbers. He protects you all the time. 24-hour fully equipped protection from God. Verse 5. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade on my right hand. Say that in a minute. Say, the Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade on my right hand. Verse 6. The sun shall not strike me by day, nor the moon by night. Say that in a minute. Say, the sun shall not strike me by day, nor the moon by night. Hallelujah. Verse 7. The Lord will keep me from all evil. He will keep my life. He will preserve my life. He will keep me safe from every attack. Say that and mean it. Say the Lord will keep me from all evil. He will preserve me. He will protect me from every attack of the enemy. He will protect me. Decree and declare it. Decree and declare God's protection over your life. Decree and declare it. Your help comes from God, and He will fight for you, He will deliver you, He will protect you, and He will do miracles, signs, and wonders in your life. Verse 8, The Lord will keep my going out and my coming in, from this time forth and forevermore. Decree and declare that. The Lord will keep my going out and my coming in, from this time forth and forevermore. Decree and declare these declarations with me. Say this. Say, I will be kept safe in all that I do. I will be kept safe. My family will be kept safe. My loved ones, my friends, the people around me will be kept safe. All that concerns me will be kept safe. In my going out and in my coming in, I will be kept safe. I will be preserved in whatever season, in whatever trouble, in whatever trial, in whatever attack that may come my way, God will preserve me. I don't trust in man-made solutions, but in God-made solutions. And those God-made solutions are working in my life, and my life is preserved. Decree and declare, my help comes from God. My help is from God, and my God shall see me through. My God shall supply all my needs according to His glorious riches in Christ. And that includes protection. That includes heavenly defense, heavenly higher ranking warring angels defense around my life. And I shall be safe. I shall be well. A hedge of protection around me. God sets a hedge of protection around me. Decree and declare that. Decree and declare that you are protected. Decree and declare that you are covered under the blood. I am covered under the blood of Jesus. And therefore, I am safe. Every door of evil that has been opened through disobedience or sin that the enemy is using to access my life is shut right now in Jesus' name. And it's sealed shut by the blood of Jesus that it will never be opened again in Jesus' name. Decree and declare the blessing of God over your life. Say, I am blessed going in. I am blessed coming out. I will enjoy the goodness of God in the land of the living. My God shall supply all my needs. It shall be well with me. According to his glorious riches in Christ, he shall supply everything that I need. I put my trust in the Lord, and the name of the Lord is my strong tower. I run to it, and I am saved. When I'm in trouble, I run to God, and God delivers me, and God sees me through. Decree and declare that. Say, when I'm in trouble, I run to God, and God delivers me, 
and God sees me through, I shall make it in Jesus' name. It shall be well with me. It shall be well with my family. It shall be well in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare that. Decree and declare that it shall be well with you. It shall be well with your family. God will see you through. God will provide employment opportunities. God will provide business opportunities. God will provide opportunities and a way for you so that the door may be opened to your purpose and to your destiny. We need to have faith. We need to go past the point where we are just saying, Lord, Lord, and go into the place where we are such in heart. Meaning, we shouldn't just be going through the motions, but we should genuinely walk this life of faith and really mean what we say and do. And God will bless us. God will surely bless us and he'll see us through. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.